Welcome back to Weld.com. Hope you're having a marvelous Monday. Got the uh, pipe runs that we're doing on schedule 44 inch. And this last one that we're doing is 6G. <clears throat> I'm all prepped up here. I have got the inside of my pipe cleaned, the bevel face clean, and the outside of the pipe clean. I have tacked up with my preferred method, which is three tacks. Got one up here at 12 o'clock, one at 2 o'clock, one at 10 o'clock. And the bottom is open. And I like to feed an eighth inch wire from the inside while I'm looking down here. It just, it's just one of those comfort things for me. Hopefully I can pull it off. We get some gear on, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here's what I like to do. I taught myself how to do this so that I could see inside the pipe. Rest the wire on the tack, feed it through the pipe. But I like to put my thumb here as I'm looking at the inside of the pipe and I can draw that reinforcement in with the wire until I get up to about right here. And then I like to switch hands and go to the other side, keep that leading edge up, put the wire in there and hopefully build a nice transition and a nice melt on the leading edge, not leave anything as far as discontinuities on the inside. If I, and the reason I do that is because <clears throat> in my experience, if I miss or if I mess up, which I usually do, then I can fix it right when it's right down here on bottom. I can get to it. Once I come off the bottom a little bit on both sides, then I can rest the cup in here and kind of do the same thing while I'm looking on the inside. And eventually the root comes on the outside. I'm not always looking on the inside of the pipe. Just that first bottom quarter up to about seven o'clock or five o'clock or so. And then when I get over here, I'm kind of looking on the outside. Anyway, again, I like to start right down here, switch hands, come over here on this side, start this side here. I leave these tacks alone. I don't get into these tacks until I'm up pretty much all the way uh, past three and nine o'clock so that the pipe doesn't collapse on me. It's worked for me over the years. All right, I started down here on bottom. I was gonna stand up over the top of the pipe here and look down through the groove. And my hood said, no, you're not, because I was getting flashed. So I actually had to get down here where it would pick up the light. And then I switched hands and came up the other side. I told you this side was comfortable for me. I felt like I fought this side more than that side over there. It's one of those deals. So now I've got this up a little bit. My gap is the same up here on top. It hadn't closed up. It won't because it can't collapse the tacks. And now <clears throat> I can rest the cup in here, give it a roid the rest of the way. I'm coming up on the tack and I'll heat the whole thing up, put some wire in it, weld through it until I see that leading edge break, add more wire, stick my tungsten. Beautiful. Oh, there's a repair. I cleaned this up with a thin bladed grinder, cut this open a little bit. It did have a whisper of porosity in it, a couple of specks. Also, I'm gonna cut the end of the oxidized rod off where it came back clean and continue on. It's one of those things, don't be putting an oxidized end. Start your weld, it'll kind of blow up on you a little bit.
Okay, there's a little technique demo. <clears throat> Again, we started out on the bottom. I, uh, my, my intent was to look through the pipe, but my hood wouldn't allow me to do that. I came out here and got up to about seven o'clock or so. I went to the other side and heated up the leading edge of the bead that I had in there on bottom, added the wire to it, melted those together, and came up a little bit on the right side, my right side. And then I came back over here, and when I when I restart off of a tack or off of a bead, then I'll heat that leading edge up until I see it slightly fall, a little bit of a keyhole there, and then I'll add the wire to it. If I stop like I had to over here and clean up where I came through a tack and I, and I kind of stuck the tungsten. Actually, it wasn't kind of stick it, I stuck it. <clears throat> I cleaned that up and then when I restarted, I heated up the leading edge, put some wire in there where I got a good melt, and then came all the way up to the top to finish the right side. I'd simply reverse that and rest the cup in there, finish it up. You get the idea. 6G is not that big of a deal. Um, you know, again, practice, practice. Practice till you get good and then do it a bunch of times till you can't get it wrong. One of those things. Man Cub likes to say knowledge is key. I like to say practice till you can't get it wrong. Those two go together. So uh, appreciate your subscription to Weld.com. Make sure you hit that notification button. Please check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Shut oh, up. shut up, Bob. Oh, you shut up, Cub.